Pipeline management can seem quite complex, but it needn't be. Here's an example of a simple pipeline management process. We set a project here with simple pipeline management. We give the customer white throat panic, an estimated value of $5,000, and the weighted value and probability currently set to zero was owned by Steve Root. Looking at the, at the plan, we can see here the information we've just discussed. We've allocated a tag here to show this is part of the South Territory, of course, it could be anything you like. Um, and we've made a list of the things that we need to achieve in, in, in the sales process. And in this case, we need to approve the scope, and we've set a date for that. We need to submit some references, and we've set a date for that. We need to set a proposal, present a proposal, and set a date for that, and sign contracts. Now, these are things we've agreed with the customer in place. We haven't got any correspondences or attachments, but we have allocated a note to them. As we mark off the things we've agreed to do, we can see the value of the project change. In this case, it's gone from $5,000. Now we now have a weighted value of 2,500 with a probability of 50% because we've completed half of the milestones. But if we go back to the project plan and present the proposal, We can now find that our pipeline management has gone green. We have a weighted probability of 3,750 and a probability of 75%. Now, the big advantage of this is with a glance, we can look at our sales pipeline. Color coding tells us where, where we're progressing according to the plan or not. Anything that's red, we need to do some work, particularly when it gets close to the top because this is in closed areas. 